Okay. Let's put you on. Yeah, you're on. Hello. So here I am at Donut Head. And it's fantastic to be back. Really good. And it's absolutely beautiful. Doesn't the lighthouse look amazing? I got here about 10, it's now 10.30 and it's just crazy busy. And my plan was to walk down there to uh, do a bit of time lapse of the coast. But there were two things that stopped me. One, the amount, oh Jesus, the amount of people that were coming in and out made me uh, hesitate putting the uh, oh, Right, yeah, two things stopped me. Look at the coastline, incredible. One was the constant stream of people coming through. I didn't really want to set up uh, a tripod. Oh, look at that. With all the people coming back and forth, you know, just wasn't feeling it. But more importantly, I just couldn't get down there. The, it was too steep for me as uh, I am suffering a bit with uh, my own, my old knees at the moment. So I was hobbling around like a good one up there, but still brilliant to go back and look at this. I couldn't have asked for better, you know, it's just insane. There's a whole bunch of birds out there in the middle of this little rock feeding on some fish I presume great stuff I spy a van I don't mind stopping for you. Not with views like this. <laughs> oh, fuck. I just can't seem to get uh, first and second gear sorted to, on this uh, trip. I, I'm putting it solely down to these boots. I'm probably fatigued as well. So there we go, it's 10.30 uh, in the morning and I've already done John O'Groats and done its head. Big thumbs up for that. So I'm pushing on now, my next way marker is, is uh, Tongue. So that's about an hour and a half away, or thereabouts. It's time to push on. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Didn't slow down one iota. You gonna slow down? There we go.
the smell from these uh, these plants is incredible. I'm, I love it. Really good. Is that park? The last time I was up here, it was obviously too early in the in the year for them to uh, flower. But I love the love the colour and the smell. It's fantastic. And look at that. That's incredible. These folks have got a killer view. Yeah, that's something else. Imagine waking up to that every morning. Okay, onwards, 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 onwards. Okay, it's telling me to go right here onto the Thurso rather than uh, left where I came, which always works. This not great. Look, always into neutral. Why is it doing that? Oh, annoying me. Or maybe it's just putting me into a loop until I get back onto the main stretch. Ooh, Bentley, don't you know? Highland cattle. There they are! <laughs> Big old Highland cattle! <laughs> oh, I love them. Oh, I'm so pleased to have seen them. Oh, is that a big old bus coming my way? Uh, Thank you very much. That was nice of him, letting me go. That's a nice house. Couple of horses. You You're welcome. That looks like a mahoosive garage right there. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Actual done it. That's nice. Okay. Think I'm back onto the main drag. But I see a beach ahead of me. Done a head distillery. Shut up. Look at that beach. If I'm going anywhere near that. Definitely going to stop for a bit of time lapse action. Done at bay. Look at that. Beautiful. Loads of camper vans. Don't blame them, to be honest. I mean, look at that. Right on the beach. All the sand dunes there on my right. guys. Morning. Hello. 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 This reminds me of Bala in Wales when I was a kid. All the massive sand dunes. Seeds still there, <laughs> just over those jeans on my right. Oh, what a 
cool up building. I love that uh, it's uh, Oddipal's signposted, even when I'm so far out. And all the NC500 signposts as well from the Scottish Tourist Board, that's nice. Probably been there for years, but I didn't see them last time. And perhaps it's because we went the other way round, you know? So going anti-clockwise appears to be the, the official signposted route of the NC500. Who knows? I don't know. Oh, nice old car. Beautiful. Oh, wow. You can see the coastline behind me. The bike is wow, relative army of them there. I wonder if we will go past the uh, nuclear power station again. Should be along this route. I remember Toby wanted to stop off there. So it was being, uh, I think it was being decommissioned. I don't know, I can't remember. But I remember us swinging by there, then suddenly realizing we, uh, we shouldn't have come in here and making a sharp exit. <laughs> Castle, like just there, that was fantastic. Okay, where are you taking me? To the right, to the right, to the right. Oh, there, yeah, there we go, to the right. Okay, another very pretty town along the NC 500. I mean, look at that. Beautiful. Thinking it might be an idea actually to find a spot to swap out batteries. Do that sooner than later so I don't uh, realise I'm not talking to anybody. <laughs> We've been here before. <laughs> Toby and I have been to that cafe right there last time we headed through this place. Glad to see it's still there. I think, ladies and gentlemen, that was Thursday, but there's a beach right there. Yeah. Bet they're all booked up as well. That place is impressive. Just got my first sign there for tongue. Always reassuring. Got a strange sense of deja vu now. Pretty sure I was behind a Plum Center van truck earlier. is better. Alrighty, so I'm going to keep on going and uh, the next kind of cafe type place I uh, 
stumble across, I'm going to stop, I think, and hopefully it will be near the coast, or on the coast, it will be ideal, where I can uh, do a little bit of time lapse and swap out batteries, so that's the plan. I can't get over that oh, bloody manhole cover. I can't get over how much I've locked out on the weather here. I'm so grateful. Wow, it's like a stately harm there with a, a moat, a lateral moat around it. Very cool. I was going around that corner that I couldn't look properly, but there was a, an actual moat surrounding that house. We've got some wind turbines ahead of us. On another subject, I'm pleased to report that uh, the Relive app is uh, doing its thing. I was uh, double checking them last night when I had some decent Wi-Fi and sure enough they've uh, tracked my uh, progress on each day and uh, very worthwhile doing Look, even more of them over there a long straight road <laughs> just gonna try and do king of the world there we go king of the world <laughs> there it is there's the nuclear power plant up there The big old dome up on the wall, loads. The big old dome up on the skyline there. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeah, I think I remember going in there, getting about, I don't know, two minutes up that road and realising, yeah, this is a bad idea. <laughs> Having a blast at the moment, this is great. Ray. I think that's what it said. Oh, hello, Ray. How oh, pretty. Well, wow, according to the bike, it's 21 degrees at the moment. Didn't even clock that. Okay, must find cash. Must find cash. Uh, I think I've already mentioned it. I'm uh, staying at a guest house tonight. I think it's, um, it looks very nice actually, uh, but they even sent me a message saying, as they are a guest house, they uh, they don't have a you know a restaurant or a bar or anything like that. So um, they've given me links to local restaurants and I've booked that in. But I need to get a cab from um, from them into town. And uh, I know it's just literally around the corner from where they are, but I know my knees won't be able to carry me there. So uh, I need to get cash for a cab. Mental note. Beautiful. 
beautiful. We haven't even got to the west coast yet. I know! Very breezy up here, but great fun. <laughs> Got a kamikaze fly in my cheek. Yep, that stung. Helmsdale. I remember Helmsdale. Look at that. Look at the colours. Absolutely incredible. Probably one of the most uh, picturesque temporary traffic light stops ever. Where are we coming into here? Mulvick. North Coast Touring Park there. Looks very swish. Another really pretty little village overlooking the coast. Now I've always loved Scotland uh, since coming up in 2017, thinking it was stunning and uh, you know whatever weather it it threw at us. But something about seeing it in sunshine adds that just that little bit extra, you know. Castle Grid. Oh, check out the boat. Hmm. We're in Strathy. I remember this. We went to Strathy Point. It's one of the places um, we made a beeline to. Uh, Strathy Point Lighthouse. I'm not going to go there today, but that's why I remember the name. Strathy Inn. Yeah, just saw the sign. Yeah, thought so. Heading towards Strathy Point now. But I'm going to crack on. I'm just taking in all the colours, you know. Again, from uh, the east coast, you know, the last couple of days it's been very flat and open. Whereas today you can see that the, the landscape is getting a lot more dramatic. There's a lot more colours. And this will continue the further we go now. which in my book is, uh, is exciting. <laughs> is that a telephone box? It bloody well is. Look at that in the middle of nowhere. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful curves. Oh, straight up. There we go. Didn't want to be at an angle going over that cattle grid. Oh, oh sheep in the road. Up, up and away.
I think I'm being stared at at the moment by a dog in the back of that car. I can just about make out a set of eyes. Look at this, eh? That's not bad. Not bad for a Tuesday morning. Oh, oh great stuff. mountains in the background what a view whoa coffee tea treat <laughs> that's what that sign just said Coffee tea treats. Bubbling brook. Another good sign. Is that it? Oh. Uh, maybe I should have stopped. <laughs> Look at that. Where am I now? Betty Hill. I think I saw a sign there for Krask as well. I remember Krask. Very good of him. Coming on to single track and he's pulled in. Yeah, very good of him. Fantastic if my battery held out. Krask. <laughs> I think Krask, if I remember rightly, was made up of pretty much one house and a pub, which made uh, which was what made it stick out in my head. <laughs> 